Hello guys, I hope you all are doing fine. Welcome back to another session. Today we are going to start with the first chapter from grade 6 CBSC English and the name of the chapter is Who did Patrick's homework? And this chapter is by Carol Murray. So let me write the name for you. It is Carol Murray. Well, it's a very interesting chapter about an elf and Patrick. So there are two main important characters. One of them is Patrick and the second one is an elf. Just for those who do not know who is an elf or what is an elf, it's a very small uh, supernatural creature and you generally find it there in the movies and otherwise who has pointed ears and you know is known for its magical powers. So it does not really exist in real. So there's a boy whose name is Patrick who happens to encounter an elf and asks elf to help him and towards the end of the story we realize that Patrick not only gets the work done all by himself is able to complete his work but rather scores very high grades and this story is quite inspirational for all those who believe that you know the best way to succeed is self-help so let's get started i am going to have a detailed explanation to this chapter so with the word meanings so let's get started patrick never did homework too boring, he said. He played hockey, basketball, and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it's true. Sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. But what could he do? He hated homework. Now let me explain all the words. Nintendo, it is basically a video game, more like Mario. And ignoramus means a person who feels like a fool, who feels like an idiot, or you can say a person who is less educated. So Patrick is a person, or I'll say a student, who never does his homework and finds doing his homework quite boring. He says, too boring, it's so boring. Instead, he likes to play outdoor games like hockey, basketball, or maybe video games like Nintendo. So his teachers keep warning him, telling him that you need to complete your homework. Otherwise, you know, who's going to learn for you? You won't be able to become an educated person. You won't be able to learn or do a single thing. And definitely at times, because he wasn't doing his homework, he wasn't ready to learn anything, wasn't ready to put on a hard, some amount of hard work. He did feel like he was an ignorant person who was, you know, feeling helpless and always running away from his work. But, you know, he had no interest doing his homework, trying to manage his time. So that's it. Moving on. Then one day, he found his cat playing with a little doll and grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a man of the tiniest size which means smaller size. He had a little wool shirt and with an old fashioned breeches. Now what is a breeches? But here I've put this breeches. Breeches means like some kind of uh, short trousers. So you can consider it to be breeches and a high tall hat, much like a witch. So he says it's more like a witch. Uh, hat, he yelled, he shouted, save me, don't give me back to that cat, I'll grant you a wish, I promise you that. So a witch is basically a woman with some magical powers, in case you don't know women with magical powers. 
So I'll explain this one. What happens here is now since uh, he wasn't interested in doing his homework. So one day he found his cat was playing with a little doll and he just caught the doll away. And uh, to his surprise, when he pulled the doll away from the cat, it wasn't a doll, rather it was a man of the smallest size. It was wearing a woolen shirt with an old fashioned trousers and was also wearing a very tall hat. More like what those magical women who uh, roam around, uh, you know, they happen to wear that. So the doll was crying and was shouting, save me, save me from the cat. Please don't give me back to the cat. Otherwise, it will eat me. And in return, I promise to grant you wish to fulfill one of your desires. Chalye, let's see what happens next. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Lucky means but are fortunate. There was the answer to all of his problems. Problems means difficulties. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester. That's 35 days. If you do a good job enough, I could even get A's. So A's, they are the grades and semester here basically means a term of, of a term in school. So like term as in a period which has some months in it. So now Patrick had a deal. So this was the elf having some magical powers as you could see. So Patrick couldn't resist accepting the offer. He found a solution to all his problems, his difficulties, you know, through this tiny man. So he said, okay, I'll save you from the cat only if you could help me do my homework till the end of semester. That's around 35 days of help. And if you help me, I'll definitely have a good score. That's A score. And that will improve my grades. So the elf was ready. Now, how did he become ready? I'll tell you. The little man's face wrinkled. Now, what is wrinkled? This is wrinkled. When you have some folds on your face. So, this is like wrinkled. I'll write, which means slight folds on the skin because of disapproval. Like a dishcloth. What is a dishcloth? It's used to wash dishes. A cloth used to wash dishes. Thrown in the hamper. Hamper is but a more like a basket with a lid. So lid means a top. He kicked his legs. He hit his legs. And like you can see he's trying to kick his legs. He kicked his legs and doubled his fist. Now what is a fist? Fist is your hand. When you put the hand together, it's a fist. So he was trying to discover what he can do and how he can help the boy, if he can really help the boy or not. And he grimaced. Grimaced basically and scowled and pursed his lips. Now here, grimace, basic grimace basically means what he did is his face had that expression where he was showing a lot of anger. Mm, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Scowl is again, it means to scowl, it means to frown, having that face again, a lot of anger. So, oh, I am cursed, but I'll do it. Cursed basically means you are ill-fated, you you, you're not lucky that way. So, what happens here after hearing to that situation, after listening to that situation, put forward by Patrick, that little man's face, he had that, you know, wrinkled face where he was showing some kind of a disapproval. It looked like a cloth was lying in a basket, you know, used for washing the dishes and it was that untidy and uh, had a lot of wrinkles. 
this kind of showed that he was you know not ready to come up with such a task he showed his disapproval for the help by kicking his leg doubling his fist and making those unfamiliar faces that sound very unhappy so he said i've been cursed you know but since i promised to help you so definitely i am going to help you there's no other choice that i am offered so it's unfortunate to do that task but i'll do it since i promised now let's see what happens next and true to his word that little elf began to do petrick's homework except there was one glitch so there was one problem here the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he'd say and patrick would have to help in whatever way i don't know this word the elf squeaked now squeaked basically means he cried aloud i do not know this and while reading patrick's homework give me a dictionary no what's even better look up the word and sound it out by each letter now seems like elf is doing his business so after keeping his word the small supernatural creature he started to help petrick in doing his homework he started to do his homework but sometimes because he didn't belong to the mankind he needed help he didn't have knowledge about things there was a small problem that he didn't have knowledge about things and he needed help and he would scream out for help and petrick had to come running to help him sometimes while he was reading petrick's homework he would cry out loud and ask for a meaning to the words he would say okay give me a dictionary and then he would change his idea and he would say wait what you can do is help me identify the sound of each letter as well as the word and just you know look for the meaning help me so it's not that elf was doing the work it was actually he was getting the work done by petrick somehow so what happens next when it came to maths don't ask Patrick was out of luck. What are time tables? Elf shrieked. He screamed. Huh? What are time tables? We elves never need that. And addition and subtraction and division and fractions? Here, sit down beside me, next to me. you simply must guide me elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too so when it came to maths he was out of luck now petrick was out of luck means he was unlucky more unlucky this time why so i'll tell you what happened is the elf he was facing difficulty in history but he knew nothing of maths all the concepts related to addition subtraction division fractions the elves didn't use all that it was all strange and odd for him so he patrick was very unfortunate then in this matter so elf had to be explained about the mathematical concepts division subtraction and patrick had to sit next to him to guide him so even though you know talk about maths now if it it was history it was completely strange because uh not because elf didn't know but because he was finding it very new and he couldn't escape from him it he had promised 
Patrick to do his homework. So he didn't know anything about human history. It was completely strange to him. And he used to shout. Already he was good at shouting and it all became more louder and louder. He would ask Patrick, go to the library. I need books. Get me more books and help me read those books as well. So, my dear Patrick, as a matter of fact, every day in every way, was li that little elf such a nag? Now, what is a nag, bacha? Nag is someone who troubles, who troubles or bothers another person or someone all the time. So, you know, basically by complaining, by asking them to do something. So, always in that complaining nature. Patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag and it was it something like very uninteresting and he was staying up nights had never felt so weary weary basically means very tired and was going to school with eyes puffed and buried now, what is berry? It means very, very dull. Puffed means having, uh, for example, when you look, uh, you know, swollen eyes. You have those swollen eyes. They are like puffed eyes. So, what happened here? Now, that little creature elf was always complaining, troubling, bothering Patrick to do this thing, to get this, to get that. And Patrick had to run this way, that way to get everything for the elf to just help him do his homework. So at times he used to, you know, wake up late and wasn't able to sleep on time, was awake for nights together. Never ever in life he had felt so tired. And whenever he had to go to school, he used to feel so dull. He was lacking energy, plus his eyes were looking very, very dull, started to look very dull. Finally, the last day of school arrived, and the elf was free to go. As for homework, there was no more. So he quietly and slyly, slyly basically means secretively, slipped out of the back slipped out the back door now finally it was the last day of school and uh, elf had completed had finished the promise and he was free to go because there was no more homework he was done and uh, now what he did he slowly he quietly he without saying anything to anyone he just slowly moved out from the back door uh, from this uh, premises, school premises. So Patrick got his A's. His classmates were amazed. They were quite happy. They were quite surprised. His teacher smiled and were full of praise. And his parents, they wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid, you know. Somebody who would everybody would look up to. Cleaned his rooms, did his chores, which means his work. All his work. And of course, was cheerful, never rude, like he had developed a whole new attitude. So, what happened? Patrick managed to score A grades. His classmates were surprised. Everybody, he made his teachers feel proud about it. His parents were unable to understand that what happened to their kid. He was, he turned out to be so perfect and he became an exemplary child who did all his work by himself, all the way from cleaning his room to doing his work. He became a happy child. He was never disrespectful, never rude to anyone. And he developed a new look, new personality. 
So everything transformed, everything changed. He used to do all his work, all his things were arranged in order. You see in the end, Patrick still thought he'd made that tiny man do all his homework. But I'll share a secret just between you and me. It wasn't the elf. Patrick had done it himself. So here the writer wants to conclude that I want to share, that he wants to share a secret with us. And the secret is that it wasn't the elf who was doing Patrick's homework. It was Patrick himself who did his work. Elf just was getting the work done in one way or the other. And this explains that if you work hard, you can achieve anything and everything in life. So that's all for the session, guys. Thank you very much. In case you enjoyed the session, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.